What's up guys? Ever since I built this plane, I have been flying everywhere without paint. It did not look beautiful flying beer bone without paint, but it flew great. I wanted to wait and see how this plane gonna fly before I do the paint job because painting is a lot of money, a lot of time, it's a big project. And of course I couldn't do it, I have to find someone else to do it because I'm not a professional painter and I do not want to ruin my project. It doesn't matter how nicely I build the plane, if the paint job is not right, it won't look good for life. I have been looking right person to do this job forever. This is Mike. Mike works for big painting company. They paint bigger airliner. He is a professional painter. So I'm gonna trust his skill and give this project to him. Let's see how he does. The biggest challenge of this process is to take a part of the plane and transport to paint shop. Paint shop is 12 miles far away from my hangar. Transporting a plane in a flatbed truck is very highly risky job. I visit paint shop every week just to see the progress. Mike is working fairly faster than I expected. We decided to paint elevator and wings first just to see how it goes. Mike is doing a phenomenal job and it turned out really good. I am really really happy and satisfied with the job he's doing. After two months of hard work, Mike and Tony completed the painting job. It turned out really good. Now it's time to haul back to the hangar and reassemble the plane.
Kudos to these four gentlemen who helped me to complete this project. Without their help, I couldn't do it. Tony and Mike, they did a phenomenal job in painting. Mark helped me to put the end number. He is a master detailer. This is George Knowlton. George and I have been friends for a long time. He helped me to haul my plane back and forth all the time. Even from first time when I built my plane, he helped me to bring from my house to the hangar. Turning from this to this was a long journey. It took a lot of time and money. I decided to put the Nepal's flag pattern color and the sun and moon in tail. It did not turn out exact same, but pretty close. I am happy the way it looks. Thank you for watching.